Let me just get real with you for a second. I don't handle sadness well. Often when others express feelings of sadness, I get really uncomfortable and I don't know what to do or say. And when sadness starts to overcome me, I tend to rush past it too quickly without taking the time to understand it and fully process it. I know, that's a weird way to start an Easter sermon. We're excited that Jesus Christ, our Savior, has conquered sin in the grave. He is risen and we are saved. So wait, why are we talking about being sad? Well, I don't want to rush past the pain and the sadness of the Easter story because the people in the Easter story didn't either. They were devastated by the death of Jesus and most of them didn't encounter the joy of the resurrection until they encountered the risen Jesus. We hear that in our scripture today. In Luke chapter 24, these two men are walking along, talking about all that has happened. And Jesus shows up on the road, but they don't recognize him. When he asks what it is the two of them are talking about, the Bible says they stopped short. Sadness written across their faces. These men knew that Jesus had been crucified. They knew that he was buried. And they had also heard the reports that Jesus was alive again. So why aren't they jumping up and down with joy? Why aren't they running down the road to share this amazing news with everyone in the village of Emmaus? Well, I think it's possible that in that moment, their grief outweighed their hope. Grief can be a consuming fire, eating every ray of light and shred of hope that we might feel. Our sadness can seem insurmountable at times, but for these two men on the road to Emmaus, hope found them. And that same hope walks with us as well. It's interesting to me that Jesus, even though he's clearly frustrated that these two don't fully understand what is happening, doesn't just say, hey, cheer up, everything is great. Just believe what you've heard and be happy. How often do we do that when we encounter someone who's struggling? It's easy from the outside to say that things aren't so bad, to try and rush people through their grief, but that's not what Jesus does. He walks with them. And as he walks, he takes them through all of the scriptures concerning these events, teaching with love and grace, and finally revealing to them that hope has been walking with them all along, even in the midst of their sadness. And that same hope walks with us today. Grief can sometimes be a long road, but you don't have to walk that road alone. If you are struggling right now with grief and sadness, if the joy of the resurrection feels far away, I want you to know that you are not alone. I want to encourage you to find someone to talk with about what you're going through. It might be a gracious friend, your pastor, or even a professional who can help you process what you're feeling and find healing. I want you to know that the worst thing is never the last thing, and that when everything seems hopeless, hope walks with you. Let's pray. God, thank you for sending your son to come and be fully human, to experience all that humanity brings with it, including grief and sadness. Thank you for the sacrifice that Jesus made, dying on the cross, to save us from our sins and save us from our hopelessness. And God, thank you for continuing to move with us as we navigate this life and the struggles that come with it. Thank you for allowing us to feel the depth and the range of emotion that we do. God, I pray that for those of us that are hurting right now, 
that you would shine a light into their hearts. God, that you would place people in their path to walk with them and encourage them and not rush them through the grief and the sadness that they're feeling, but to let them know that they are not alone. God, that you walk with us, that hope stands beside us in every situation. And even though we may not feel it, God, you are there. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for the joy that comes from knowing you. Thank you for your son. Thank you for the resurrection. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.